Good morning, Builder News. I'm going to do a user test of this thing called Rogo, an AI startup focused on finance. It just raised a, let me get some lights. How's that? Is that too, too bright? I don't know. I'm no, I'm no lighting whiz. Anyway, they raised $18.5 million. That is 18 point four nine 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 point nine seven more money than I have right now. <laughs> Let's see what they can do with it. Very excited to see this guy Keith uh, Rabois Rabois. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name, but I've seen some of his things before. I, I, he wrote really he had a really great thing on focus once. Where does he? Here we go. Insist on focus. This is a great read. A great great uh, great little YouTube video that I watched a couple years ago and so I don't think I've ever met the guy but but he's a very smart guy um, so let's see what this thing Rogo is um, but first I got to put some some tunes on where are we here we go here we go most peaceful music you've never heard let's let's set the stage for some Zen while we look at Rogo, AI startup focused on finance. What the fuck is this shit? Fucking fortune sucks. Balls. Fucking paywall bullshit. Ah. Rogo AI. Here we go. <laughs> Generative AI for financial services. Rogo is the secure enterprise AI platform purpose built for elite financial institutions. What is an elite financial institution? Was First Republic Bank an elite financial institution? Oh, they shouldn't have fucked with me. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, they did kind of fuck with me. Whatever. Karma. Karma's a bitch. Anyway, helping you save time, unlock insights, and automate workflows. Trusted by leading financial institutions, public investment banks, top five equity. Anyway, what the hell am I doing? So this is, I'm not really the target market, but complex financial work effortless. Our customizable plan outlasts any single AI model adapting to firm specific use cases and automating workflows from day one. Okay, so so basically, it so seems like they have a um, they're probably using a model like OpenAI or something or or Llama three or whatever, and then they're fine tuning it and hooking it up to their own in house data services. It's a good strategy. I love it. You wouldn't outsource your analyst, don't outsource your AI analyst. That's smart. I think that's smart for, for people in a highly competitive field like top finance. Don't fucking give your shit to like let's let's take a look at Mr. Keith, right? So he So he founded um he, well he was an early PayPal guy, right? So here's a little story about YouTube. I love YouTube, but let's let's tell a little story about the founders of YouTube. They came and they spoke at a YC dinner back in 2008, 2009, when I was doing YC. And they said, how did they come up with the idea for YouTube? And it, they literally said, we were looking at the bank account balances of the top money earners. Um, so they were looking at the internal PayPal balances, saw this guy... I think his name is James Fong, maybe, from Hot or Not. They saw how much money he was making from Hot or Not, and they were like, let's make Hot or Not with video. Now, whether they were just telling us that story to, um, I don't know, just because it was funny or whatever, like, I, I don't know how much, if that was really, like, obviously YouTube quickly evolved into a much grander thing, but but how did it get started? They were looking at customer bank account balances. This, you like, you cannot trust, <laughs> like, in a world of like competitive finance. If if you're a finance company, 
um, and you're sending all your confidential data to OpenAI, look, some the entrepreneurial folks at OpenAI are going to look at that data. Look, they can't help it. I'm the same way. When I worked at Microsoft, I like to look at the Bing data. I want to see what people were searching for. It's just, it's curiosity. So anyway, I like that. Connect AI to the data you need. Models, spreadsheets, structured data, decks, data rooms. So Rogo data, why the term Rogo? Um, focus on finance, summarize information, generate materials, answer research question. So now does this run on-prem? Integrate data with ease. So it connects to your data in the cloud. Enterprise grade security is laugh is laughable. Like, look, assume breach. Sorry folks, assume breach. Always. You only only the true security is security by by making everything public. If you don't do that, you've got no security. This shit is all fluff. Because all it takes is one tiny little weakness to exploit the whole thing. Um, is Rogo not a substitute for Bloomberg but it kind of seems like that's who you're competing against how does Rogo use my data how secure Rogo is not secure sorry it's just not any third party giving your data to any third party you are your security becomes equivalent is only going to be weaker because it uh, becomes... Now, assuming that's not always true. Actually, let me take that back. Most companies, well, their security will be better by trusting their data to Rogo because it, it is hard to do. Like, running your own email server is, is silly. Gmail is going to make it a lot more secure or, or Hotmail, whatever, Microsoft's Outlook, whatever. Copyright, oh, gross. Anyway, I like this. I was hoping that it was gonna be for consumers, so this is not really for me. But snazzy website, I get it, I like it, understands why they're investing in it. Um, and like, what's the long-term play? Are they the next Bloomberg? You know, why, why don't they just use this data to become their own hedge fund? I don't know. I mean, they'll probably get bought by a hedge fund or something. It seems like if this product works as good as it could, you know, like, it just seems like this would be, I don't know what the, what the grand play is here. Because if it seems like if it's really good, they could just, be an investment. Okay, well, let's see what let's see what their story is. 2019, we worked on NLP at Princeton. I went to Princeton. Campus tour. Campus tour. Didn't enroll there, but uh, anyway, just thought I'd mention that. Stupid joke. Uh, so what is their... Um, so they were doing... <laughs> I mean, look, you're bragging about doing an LP in 2019. Bitch, I was doing an LP in 2008. <laughs> and, and I was late to the game. Um, so they really want to serve financial services teams and their use cases. So, okay, because they're in New York City and those are... That's their neighbors. They're building a great product for their neighbors. That's the way to do it. Love it. Join a world-class team as we rethink finance. I, I think I'm going to stay in Hawaii, but uh, New York's cool too. Um, hey, this is cool. I like it. I like it, Rogo. Not for me, but I appreciate what you're doing. It makes sense. It's, it makes good sense. And anyway... So I didn't get to test anything. I didn't get to try anything. But um, that's it. Cheers. Good luck.